have like this bonnet off i don't want to hear it okay because i braid my own hair and y'all i was just i didn't care okay i did these yesterday i was just trying to throw something <laughs> i was just trying to throw something in my head what the fuck was that i don't even know who i was like i've never been on uses like this i'm really screaming uh, people that know me in real life about to watch this man bye all right y'all this is the wig it got a little jumbled i gotta brush it out yeah it's a professional one yeah i've never seen myself with a side part like y'all i really haven't had a side part since like probably like middle school honestly like i literally been wearing middle parts since high school so the wig she looks really good like she did that y'all look at this hairline i need to put some lace tint i have lace tint because as y'all can see this is very white but it looks really good though yeah i've never seen lace like this i don't know if y'all can hear my friends but they on the phone but, um, I've never seen lace, like, white like this. Like, I don't know. This is, like, my first, like, real professional wig. Like, I've never, like, I always normally just make my own wigs. So, should I put the lace tint on now? Yeah, I like it. I think it's very pretty. Y'all see how long it is? I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all see? Ooh. It's... It's right here. It goes down to right here. I have my lace now, but um, it goes down to right here. If y'all can see. All right, y'all. I'm back. Okay, got some scissors. My niece's little baby scissors. Hopefully, them is good enough. Cause y'all don't have no hair scissors. So I think I'm about to spray the lace tint on. It don't say where to spray it. So what y'all think? Underneath or over? <laughs> Um, arms left. Like, oh, my arm out. Dang, I'm scared. I'm scared of going hair. I'm not using this box. Y'all just leave that up. Oh, that looks a lot better. Wow. Oh, that looks a lot better. Y'all see that? I got it on a hair. No. But, oh, that really works. It looks really good now. Yeah, look around my hairline and stuff. What is that right there? Oh, that's my wig cap, bitch. I'm screaming. Hopefully I do this right, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I'm using this spray, by the way. If y'all can see, it's by, y'all probably can see the lights. I feel like I'm washing it out. Like I have a really bad habit of trying to like erase my past and like I'm saying it like I got a crazy past. I don't, but like I feel like especially when I was younger, I had a really, really, really bad habit of trying to I guess change who I was as a person. And like part of that was like deleting everything that kind of reminded me of that, if that makes sense. So like pictures that I took, videos everything like i used to literally just delete everything like i used to delete out of my phone off of social media off the internet out of my computer like y'all it was a little weird honestly maybe i should just start in the middle I feel like I have different layers to myself. I have different versions of myself, if that makes sense. So I can't keep trying to erase a part of me, if that makes sense. Just because I feel like it's not good enough or I feel like society won't accept that part of me, you know? So yeah, I'm really happy for myself for getting to this point because y'all, when I tell y'all, oh, it's on there, bitch, period. Y'all see that? Period. But yeah, I'm just proud of myself for getting, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this over these baby hairs, but look at me doing it over the baby hairs. 
but yeah, I'm just proud of myself, y'all. Like, I hope y'all can hear me over me flapping this thing. But um, I'm just really proud of myself for getting to this point because y'all, it's really like been a long journey, especially with just me, just me as a person. Like my confidence level, my self-esteem, like my, is that the same thing as confidence? But um, just my confidence level, just me accepting who I am. Like it's really been a long journey. Like I just, uh, I, I don't say, I wouldn't say I hated myself, but I don't think I ever hated myself. I just always used to try to modify myself to be somebody that I wasn't to just try and conform to be who like who I thought was cool or who I thought you know everybody wanted me to be you know and I'm just really happy that I'm getting that I'm at a point where I'm just accepting myself and I'm just happy like I'm just I'm happy to be myself like I'm not trying to be like anybody else like I'm really but tying that back into entrepreneurship honestly overall i feel like that can connect to entrepreneurship because if you are not confident like i saw this tweet the other day i'll probably put it right here if i can find it but um this girl she made a tweet and she said something like she think um she thinks something like entrepreneurship or something like what you sell or something is connected to your confidence and i felt that like i really felt that because a lot of people a lot of people sell crappy stuff like a lot of people i don't want to say crappy a lot of people sell stuff that isn't all that like it isn't nothing amazing it's not nothing you can't get from forever 21 or some junk like that but it's the way like that it make you feel when you put it on like if you're not confident in yourself not even just your product and yourself if you are not confident and comfortable in like feeling good about yourself then it really just it, i feel like it reflects in your products it reflects in your business like to me it really does because a lot of people a lot of like y'all really think a lot of the, a lot of these girls on instagram only sell stuff or only sell only get sales because they're pretty because they're confident in themselves because they post pictures that exert confidence you know like a lot of these girls sell just stuff like it really ain't even all that like but people buy it too i buy it because she look good in it and bitch i'm trying to get her confidence like i'm trying to i'm trying to look like her like i'm trying to get her level like you know type thing so ooh, i sprayed that right in my ear but um yeah i just really think me overall it's being a more confident person is really just gonna connect to my business like it's really gonna let my business be everything that i want it to be like i just i already know like i just already feel it like my confidence has increased so bitch bank account about to increase and that's just what it is like okay y'all i'm about to try to cut this ear tab <sighs> y'all i don't know Oh, these weak scissors, dude. I need some hair scissors like that. I'm trying not to cut the baby hairs that she put on here. The baby. that looks good can y'all see that i don't know i think that looks pretty good though i feel like in my past like if you know me in real life you know that half of the time i'll walk around looking crusty like i don't put a wig well i'm gonna say i don't put a wig on i don't do my hair like i'm not the type that get cute get dressed up every day like do my makeup do my hair every day no nah, y'all i'm putting a hat put my hair in a I keep leaning up to the camera. I'm sorry. But you know me in real life. You know I'm not the type to get dressed every day. Like, I don't get cute every day. I don't, you know, do my makeup, do my hair every day. But one thing that I've noticed that I really think it stems from is my confidence. Like, I really think in the past I was not confident in myself. Like, 
I wasn't super confident in myself. I don't want y'all to think I was walking around here moping, what was me, nah, y'all. Like, I, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. But, like, I just know, like, within myself, it was more so. <sighs> I mean, people have noticed it, too. Like, I mean, in real life, I can probably tell you that I, probably, I definitely was not the most confident person. Like, just growing up, just in life in general. But, um, yeah, I also feel like me just walking around, like, I used to walk around, especially in, like, more so high school than anything. In college, y'all, yes, I used to be looking ugly as hell, okay? If you saw me going to class, baby, baby, it was rough, okay? Like, I was literally, when I used to go out to, like, a party or, and y'all would see me going to class, I, it was literally night and day. Like, I was literally two different people. But, um, I honestly feel like that kind of stemmed from, like, my confidence. The way I used to walk around was definitely rooted within my confidence like how just how I felt about myself which makes a lot of sense because a lot of people say how you carry yourself is how you feel about yourself or how confidence definitely just was a reflection of how I carried myself how like I how I moved like just how I used to talk how I used to act like now that I'm at a point where I'm I'm not I want to say I'm very confident in myself but y'all I'm definitely getting there like it's, it's a process for sure but um I'm definitely more confident than what I used to be, like a hundred times more. So I feel like that's why I like I want to do my hair now. I want to put on makeup. Like I'm tired of walking around, and it, it probably, it's probably quarantine too. Like just being in the house, y'all. I haven't put on makeup in months. I haven't done my hair in months. Like I've literally been looking ugly for months, and I'm was so sick of that, y'all. Like I need. I don't know, I needed a pick-me-up, like, and I just feel like when you look good, you feel good, and that definitely boosts your confidence just as a person. Like, when you look good, you definitely feel so much better. So, one thing I definitely want to work on is definitely just getting cute more often. Like, not even super cute, like, just doing my hair, like, just putting a wig on, like, <laughs> putting a wig on, doing my hair. Like, I don't even have to style it, just like, you know, just having some hair on my head, like, just looking like something like i really just be walking around looking like anything and I just make it a point to really try and just look like something like even when i'm just walking around the house like maybe just do my hair or something not every day y'all like it ain't gonna be no overnight i'm about to put a wig on every day y'all i'm not doing that like i can tell you right now i'm not doing that but like just sometimes like just a couple times out the week like just stop being so fucking ugly all the time i think it's gonna help me so much it's gonna really yeah, I got this free spray down my face. I just want to carry myself a certain way. I want to start, I really feel like just a big part of my life right now is just really becoming who I'm meant to be in life. And I just know I'm meant to be something great. Like, not trying to be cocky or anything like that, but, like, I just know, like, I just feel like God has so much for my life that I'm not tapping into that I really have been holding myself back from for so long. Like, even in high school, in the first few years of college, like, Y'all, like, I just feel like I really held myself back from so much stuff. But, like, I'm, all I can do is control what happens from this day forward. All I can do is control what I do right now. So, it is what it is. I just have to learn from my past more than anything. And I just have to you just use that as what not to do. Like, what not to do in another situation. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of the end of my rant. I hope that was, <laughs> I hope that was a little motivational for y'all. I hope that was, I hope y'all get what I'm saying. Like, I hope y'all hold yourself back from so many things in life. So, please, y'all, work on your confidence more than anything. Like, work on your confidence. Work on realizing who you are. Oh, really, y'all, like... I hope that just makes sense. Like, y'all, this wig, I don't know what I'm doing. It's a lot of lace on my damn forehead. Like, I don't think I'm supposed to have, like, this is all lace. I don't think I'm supposed to have that much lace on my forehead. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> y'all, look at all this. <gasps> Do y'all see that? I got all this stuff on my face. No. Bro, look at my freaking wig. What the? I'm embarrassed. What the heck? I Hopefully, I didn't do this too wrong. Yeah, I'm about to use this spray and just try and gotcha. look at me, y'all, doing my first install, and she looks good. Okay, this part got a little messed up, y'all. I don't know what's going on right there, but I'm gonna take an elastic band and um, cut some, and then just wrap it around my edges to hold it down.
okay y'all so i just finished curling my hair i'm sorry my camera was about to die but this is how it looks i haven't combed it out yet but this is just how it looks this is how the other side looks this is something really soft really light i'm gonna do i'm gonna go do my makeup first and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna get this shit off my face but um i'm about to go do my makeup and then i'm gonna come back and show y'all the end result with the hair combed out and everything so yeah okay okay y'all so i lied i'm actually about to um do my baby hairs first because i feel like i should before i do my makeup so let's see how this lace is looking y'all i'm nervous and I have my, I went and got my witch hazel so I can clean up my edges. Okay. <laughs> So I just finished my makeup. I look crazy. I'm gonna put on my lip gloss. I figured I would do it on camera. <laughs> so y'all how it look. I think I'm gonna put on my pink one. This one looks messy, but this is what it looks like. This is in the shade Pink Kini, part of my summer collection. And we're about to just Put on. I'm not doing any lip liner. I just want it to be something very light, very natural today. So. I normally never wear just lip gloss without a lip liner. I actually like it. Now we gonna go like this. We are gonna go like this because I want y'all to see the the true color of the lip gloss. So this is um. Oh, this is in the shade pink sand this one is super pretty i love this one it's super pretty it's like a pink glitter bomb okay y'all and i put a little bit of orange of the orange on top as well so these are these are three of the colors that's the only bad thing about this freaking camera this autofocus is cheeks but y'all can see follow me on instagram to see the bottles for all. I believe they're three of the colors a part of my summer collection. And yeah, I just mix all of them on my lips. And yeah. Huh? But uh I just did it real natural though. That's probably why it didn't take me that long. It's been like an hour since I first became all right. I know I've never seen myself with a side, but I like it. I like it. I look like a grown woman. I hope y'all can see me. I feel like I look dark in this camera because this lighting is not the best. But oh, my she shirt is coming down. But yeah, this is the look, guys. The frontal, it actually turned out good, y'all. Like, I like it. And then okay. this is the lips. Definitely shop the freaking collection. Because, period. okay guys <laughs> so i think this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope y'all like watching me struggle at putting this wig on but i think it turned out really good though like for my first time y'all it's hot but definitely shot with hairstyles by niche the wig is fire um shot my lip glosses period as you should um no for real shot my lip glosses they drop tonight they drop on um july 25th at midnight so probably by the time y'all see this video, they'll probably already be out. I have on pink kini, pink sand, and high temps. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my message. I hope y'all understood what I was trying to say. I feel like this whole video was really just me. Um, Sorry, I keep touching my hair. But um, I feel like this whole video was really just me ranting just about confidence and just 
whatever but i hope y'all understood what i was trying to say i feel like some will get it some won't i need to go do my nails oh i said i was gonna put some press ons on y'all i'm probably about to put some press ons on honestly but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in the next one here come my nieces so yep yeah, let me let me turn this camera off because here they go <laughs> man here they go Okay. Bye, YouTube.